Compression of photos saved as JPEGs can cause some real damage, but there's gotta be a way to fix that, right? Let's break it down. JPEG is one of the most popular and universally compatible file formats, even though it's super destructive to images, since every save drops the quality a little lower. It used to be a lot harder to fix and remove artifacts from damaged JPEGs, but with the tools in Photoshop and a little AI, there are multiple steps that can be taken to restore your quality. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this video, so you don't miss the review we'll be releasing to compare different free artifact removal programs that are most helpful if you're not a Photoshop user. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Before starting, it's important to convert your JPEG to a non-destructive format, which can be done by right-clicking the image layer and converting it to a smart object. The easiest first step is to use the JPEG Artifact Removal Filter, which was added to Photoshop late 2020 and tends to do a pretty decent job at removing artifacts. It can be accessed by going to the Filter tab in the top menu and clicking Neural Filters. Here, you'll find all the AI filters that have been introduced, which are all really cool and sometimes include filters in beta testing that you can try out. Choose JPEG Artifact Removal and select the level of filtering you want from low to high. At the bottom of your canvas viewer will be a loading bar that lets you know how far along the filter is. It takes a little time, so it's nice to be able to reference the amount of progress while you wait. When it finishes up, you can click the before and after toggle in the bottom corner of the canvas to see how well the filter is done. And you can rate the filter with a smile or frown to let Adobe know if their programming is doing a good job. Last, choose how you want the repair to output. Current layer will apply the changes directly and permanently to your layer. New layer adds a layer with only the adjustment to sit over top of the original. And Smart Filter will add a removable and adjustable filter to your image that can be changed by double clicking the filter in your layer tab and easily toggled on and off. Still not happy with the results? Try using the Camera Raw filter accessible either through the Filter menu tab or by hitting Ctrl Shift A on a PC or Command Shift A on a Mac. Go into the Details tab and play around with the noise reduction levels, which can do a lot for smoothing out colors that don't belong. Camera Raw also has a before and after toggle at the bottom of the canvas, which will allow you to see how far your slider movements have gotten you from the original image. If you remembered to change the layer to a smart object, the Camera Raw filter will appear like a layer effect when you're done adjusting, so you can turn it on or off at any time or double click it to adjust it again. If your layer isn't a smart object, finishing out of Camera Raw will apply the changes permanently to the layer, so the only way back is to completely undo the action, as well as anything you may have done afterwards. Keep in mind that every image will need slightly different treatment, and severe artifacts can only be repaired to a certain extent. Don't expect to remove all the artifacts from an old MySpace image and end up with something that looks like it was taken on a new iPhone. Though, for the most part, these tools are pretty effective for image repair. That's all for this one. Don't forget to thumb up this video and subscribe, and if you've got questions or know what you want to learn more about, head to the comments and tell me what you want to hear. And of course, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.